are lions, which is really the king of the jungle. Well, in the past, we added lions into Minecraft, and let's just say they were a bit overpowered. But what about tigers? How OP can we make tigers in Minecraft? Well, as it turns out, pretty OP. And to prove it, I'm going to be surviving 100 days in Minecraft as a tiger, while my two friends play as poachers who try and hunt me down and keep me from becoming the king of the jungle. Oh, look how cute I am. I'm a little baby tiger. And luckily, later on, I'm going to be able to upgrade into different tigers and become way stronger. But for right now, I only have five hearts. Okay, so this is my spawn rock, and over there is the two poachers. If the poachers are able to kill me by day 100, I fail this challenge. So first things first, we got to escape. Now, the second I leave this rock, they're able to start hunting me. So I got to get moving quick. And I think I'm going to go for that tree right there so I can make a boat and run. Ready? And go. We just need to grab three pieces of wood. One for the crafting table, two for the boat. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, they're coming over here quick. I got an idea. Let's dive in the water. Let's go to these bubbles right here for a second. Let's make a crafting table. Okay. Hello. Oh, they see me. He's coming down. Put these in. Make a boat. Okay, we got the boat. We're going. He has to get breath. I heard him suffocating. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, he got hit on me. Oh, no. My boat. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Get away. Let's go. We can get away. Are we under the boat drowning? Yes, but we can definitely get away from them. We can lose them. Okay, I found a village, and the hunters haven't shown up yet, so I think I've lost them. So let's go ahead and let's make this village our home and quickly find ourselves some food because we are really low on health and really low on food. Okay, there's some hay bales down there. Let's. Oh, wait. Do we take. Did we not take any fall damage from that? Wait, what? Oh, as a tiger, I'm immune to fall damage. Well, that's kind of cool. I've also got some other cool powers as well. I have combat upgrades like pounce, claws, and bonus upgrades like feline stealth and flying tiger technique. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making this mod. Okay, so let's go and let's grab this hay. Okay, now that we've got our food sorted, let's go ahead and let's start working on a base. Now, I kind of like this area I'm in, so I think I'm going to make my base near here. In fact, let's make it behind this village house. Let's literally just put it in a hole in the ground right next to the house. Luckily, as a baby tiger, I fit in tiny holes, and the poachers don't. Okay, first things first, though, let's go and let's cut down a couple trees real fast. Let's make some sticks and make ourselves a wooden pickaxe. Let's quickly grab three cobblestone, and now we're going to make a stone pickaxe. And this is where we can put our house. have carved out the base. It's a box. It looks good. We just need some torches, some chests. Okay, yeah, we got a decent bit of work still to do. It's still sunny outside, but it's definitely gonna be going down soon. So let's go up to one of the village houses and let's steal a bed. My bed. Okay, bed. Okay, this will work for a day one starter base. And it's currently nighttime outside. So let's go ahead and go to sleep and then we'll finish up the base tomorrow. Okay, it's day two. And normally I'd keep working on the base and make it a little nicer. You know, actually turn it into a base and not just this box. But here's the thing. I want to get an upgrade right away. Because I only have five hearts of HP and I don't feel like dying. So I want to go ahead and get pounds. If I kill 100 animals and eat 30 meat, then I'm already going to be able to attack things. And that sounds good to me. Let's start the pounds quest. And now we just get to kill 100 animals and get 30 meat. So let's make a sword. And now let's go kill some animals. One animal down. Okay, you know what? That's enough hunting for tonight. That is a spider jockey and I'm going home. Okay, we're home for the night. We only need to kill 10 more animals and eat 23 more meat. And then we'll get this attack. Okay, day three. Let's go kill 10 more animals real quick. We should just be able to find turtles outside. That should work. Okay, we got all the animals killed. Now we just need to go ahead and eat a bunch of meat. Which, yeah, that's not going to take too long. Okay, I'm just going to keep jumping like this inside this cave to lower my hunger. And then I'm going to eat meat until it reaches 30. Okay, this should do it. Once I eat this meat, we'll be all set. There we go. 30. Now if we go to pounce and we click it. We've now unlocked it. Let's try it out. So if I use my pounce attack, it looks like this. Oh, I kind of like lunge forward. Let's go try it on something outside. Okay, let's try it on this pig. So I pounced him, he became invisible, and he started to bleed. And then we'll finish him off and take his food. So yeah, this new power is really broken. Let's go ahead and let's go back inside our base. Okay, now that we have the first attack, we can start to actually work on our base again and make it just a little bit more secure. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade the base. After getting my first attack, I wanted to finish up my base. So I spent the next couple of days gathering tons of ores and redstone to make sure I had the ultimate tiger cave. Okay, it's day seven, and the base is looking much better. Not only do I have torches, but I've got all the basic supplies I need to keep moving forward. And I got a cool door. Look at that. Ready? Watch this. When I hit 
the lever? Now it's open, so we can go outside. But if it's closed, this grass block raises up and blends perfectly in with the side of this hill. So I'd say my base is pretty secure now, which means it's time to work on our second upgrade, which is called Leap, which is gonna allow us to jump 10 blocks in the air in any direction. To get it, we need 10 rabbit's hide and a rabbit's foot. So let's go ahead, let's go look for a desert because rabbits are easiest to find in deserts. Okay, we finally found a desert. Oh my God, it's nighttime, but at least we found one. So let's go find some rabbits so we can get their rabbit hide and hopefully a rabbit's foot. Here's a few rabbits. Get over here. No. Okay, I can't fight. I cannot fight rabbits in F5. Oh, the snake wants the rabbit too. I got it first. Yes. One rabbit hide acquired. I have to do this all while not dying to like all the mobs. Oh, here's a bunch of rabbits. Oh my God. They just spawned right in front of me. Oh, you're toast. Oh my God. Our second rabbit got us a rabbit's foot already. That's supposed to be rare. Okay. Well, that's great luck. We just need to go and get more rabbit hide. Also, is that another spider jockey? Oh my God. Get over here. Why is that spider upside down? Oh, that's scary. Look at it eat the spider. It buries it. It's burying it. It buried the spider. Yo, stay away from me, bro. You're cool. Ow, why do you attack me? Oh, yeah, we just got the 10th rabbit's hide we needed. We have the rabbit's foot, but oh, God, I am dying of poison quick. So we're going to get in the water here just to get away from all these things trying to kill us. Okay, cool. Now that we're alive, let's start heading back home. Okay, now that we got all the items, let's go ahead. Let's quickly unlock the upgrade. And there we go. We've now unlocked leap. And now that we have it, let's just go home. Okay, with both the ability to leap up in the air and the ability to pounce and attack people, I'd say I'm pretty OP, except for one thing. I have five hearts still, and that is kind of unacceptable. So it's time to evolve from a baby tiger cub into a teenage tiger. Now to do that, I'm gonna need a bunch of raw meat. So we got a lot of animals to kill, so let's get to work. Okay, we need to go ahead and cook some food because obviously I am starving. I'm gonna use some of our food reserves that we're using for this upgrade to cook it. Oh wait, we have some steak. Oh, never mind. We don't need to cook any food. Well, that's convenient. I thought we needed to cook food. Let's store all our raw meat in here for now since we still need about 10 plus more on each one. So let's go back to killing some animals. <gasps> oh, hi, hi, hi. oh my God, the hunters are literally in the village. Okay, I gotta be careful. I don't want them to find my base. So let's get away from my base. We can use our leap ability to get up this mountain quick. There we go. We're just leaping up this mountain. Here we go. Up we go. Oh, did he see me? He may have seen me. Just hide. Oh my God. This is a cool village. Okay, let's go in. Let's make one of them bleed. We got our bleed attack. Here we go. Ready? Wait, what? Oh, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Wait, what's going uh, on? I just saw a cat. I'm making him bleed. He's bleeding again. Oh, I'm bleeding. And he can't move. You're not getting away. No way. Yes, we got him. Let's make the other one bleed. Where is he? Here he is. He's coming up to me. He's coming up to me. Ready? And he can't move. He's running though. He's got to be low. I want to die. I'm dead. We need better armor, man. Yes, we got him with the pounce. And there we go. He's done. Okay, stay out of my village, poachers. Okay, now that we got rid of them, let's go ahead and let's go back to killing animals because we still need to get some animal kills. Okay, we have all the raw meat we need, which means we just need three milk buckets. Okay, so let's grab our iron and quickly make three buckets. Now we just need to go find a cow and get some milk. Okay, here's some cows. And there we go, three buckets of milk. And now we're gonna turn from a baby tiger cub into a teenage tiger. Look at me, I actually look like a tiger now. And in total, I have 15 total hearts. And I get strength one and speed one. So yeah, my tiger is pretty strong. Okay, so we got the first three upgrades complete. We're a teenage tiger, we have pounce, and we have leap. Meaning it's time to work on the tier two tiger upgrades. And the first one I'm gonna do is claws because it's super easy. If you look at the upper left, you're gonna see that I literally just have to break 200 blocks and use pounce 50 times. Okay, let's do it once. That's one of 50. Two of 50. Three of 50. This is like, this is gonna be so easy. Okay, there's five already. We'll let our energy bar re go up. And in the meantime, let's quickly go break 200 blocks because this isn't gonna be hard at all. There we go. We broke all the blocks we need to break. Now we just need to use pounce a billion times. Okay, and this should be the last three we need to do. One, two, three. There we go. All pounces and all blocks placed. And the sun is just starting to go down, meaning we made amazing time on that. Okay, let's go back inside the base and let's go ahead and unlock claws. 
claws are gonna completely replace my sword because they're basically a free diamond sword. Now, instead of a sword, I use my claws, which I guess just kind of makes sense. Okay, it's day 14, and I want to test out our new claw ability. So we're gonna go ahead and look for the hunter's base and use claws on them. But before we go, I want to quickly make some TNT so I can damage their base a little bit. Now, I currently don't have any, so we're probably just gonna go look for a temple real quick and then start looking for their base. Okay, I'm out in a desert right now, and I just learned that my claws also work as diamond tools, meaning I don't even need this iron pickaxe. Okay, perfect. I found a desert pyramid. Let's go to the bottom and let's go steal the TNT that's inside. There we go. That should give us nine TNT. Let's go back up and let's just see what we have in the chest. Okay, now that we got the TNT, let's go look for the hunter's base so we can blow it up and test our claws on them. Finding the hunter's base turned out to be extremely tricky because this time we were using an expanded map, meaning the poachers could make their base anywhere within 50,000 blocks of spawn. Okay, I'm pretty confident I found their base. I'm 90% sure that's in the hill over there. Let's get low to the ground. Just sneak up over here. A tiger stalks its prey, so we got to take this nice and carefully. Okay, they both left the base. And we're in. Go. Oh, no, I see an emo. Oh! Whoa! Oh, yeah, you like that? He didn't even, dude, he didn't see me go in. I can get under one block caps. Oh, my gosh, our base. Oh, he's, yo, he's targeting me. No! Nice, he's done. We already got one kill. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> nice, we got one. Eat the golden apple. than you no! oh he's dead nice these claws are op i got their beds right there's no way they're respawning oh no he's still spawning they're spawning down there okay let's get to bed we got both beds he's done he's done let's get the other one ready he's done i'm scared of this tiger He just attacked a bear. Is he dumb? Ooh. Why did he attack a bear? But either way, they're both dead. I have both of their beds, meaning this base is toast, and this should buy me enough time to keep doing some more upgrades. Okay, it's day 18, and I want to become an adult tiger. But to do it, I need a bunch of potions from the nether. We're talking three strength potions, three speed potions, three jump boost potions, three regeneration potions, and a bucket with an axolotl. Now, these ingredients aren't really hard to get. They're just very time-consuming, and we don't even have a nether portal yet, so that's what we got to make next. So let's quickly go grab some obsidian. Okay, there we go. We got 10 obsidian. Now let's go build a nether portal. And now let's go get some potion supplies. Okay, we're in the nether. Now we need to go find another fortress so we can get some blaze rods, nether warts, and some gas tears. Okay, we found a fortress, which wasn't too hard. This isn't far at all. Okay, we got three blaze rods. Now let's go find ourselves some nether warts. Okay, and here's some nether warts. Now we should need to get some gas tears for the regen potions. I can't hit it. Do I gotta, like, sidestep it? Oh, did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Okay, and we got the gas tier that we need. We just need to get a piece of sugar for the speed potion, a lucky rabbit's foot for the jump boost potion, and then a bucket of axolotl, and we're done. So let's go back to the base. Okay, we're home. Let's quickly put some stuff together, and let's make ourselves a brewing stand. We'll put that brewing stand right here. Now let's quickly smelt some sand real fast. Okay, now let's make some water bottles. Now let's go ahead and just put a water source right here, and let's fill up all our bottles with water. And let's get everything ready. Then we simply add another wart, and all these potions are gonna become awkward potions, and we're gonna do this a billion times. Okay, all the awkward potions are done, so let's go let's go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll turn them all into their final potions. So to turn them all into their final potions, we're gonna need both a rabbit's foot and some sugar. So let's go get those. First, some sugar cane for some sugar, nice and easy. Okay, now we just need to kill a few rabbits, and hopefully they'll drop a rabbit's foot. <laughs> No way! Oh, okay, that's crazy. We got the rabbit's foot, which means we have everything we need for the potions. Let's go home and let's get crafting. Okay, so first things first, let's add in our rabbit's foot, and that's gonna turn these into the jump potions that we need. There we go. All three potions of leaping are complete. Now let's make three strength potions. Add in a blaze powder to the brewing area, and that's gonna turn them into strength potions. There we go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add sugar, and that's gonna make three speed potions. There we go. And last but not least, let's add in three more awkward potions. Let's add our gas tier, and that's gonna make three potions of regeneration. 
And there we go. All potions complete. Now let's go to bed and tomorrow we'll get the axolotl in a bucket and we'll be able to turn into an adult tiger. Okay, so to get an axolotl in a bucket, it's actually kind of tricky. Now axolotls are going to be hard because you can only find them in underwater cave sources. So I got to find an underwater lake below, I believe it's like Y63. It's going to be complex. We basically have to go underground, go from water pool to water pool and hope we find some axolotl. And then we just pick them up in a bucket and we're good. Okay, so let's go down to our cave and let's start looking. Okay, I found my first pool of water, but I don't see any axolotls. All I see is glow squares. I don't think I'm looking for glow squid. Okay, we found some lush caves. Now we just have to actually find some axolotl. I guess I just gotta keep looking around until I actually find some that are gonna spawn in. Okay, found another little pond, and once again, there's no axolotl. These things are hard to get. Okay, here is a massive water cave, all in a lush cave. There is no way axolotl aren't spawning in here, right? There's no way. Oh, I finally found some axolotl. Look, there's a bunch of them. Oh, I want a pink one. Come here, get in my bucket. Yes, we caught one. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, we're drowning. The cutest predator. We got an axolotl in a bucket. Yes. Now let's go back to base. Combine our axolotl bucket with our potions and we can become an adult tiger. Okay, we're finally home. Let's go grab the potions. Oh, hunters, 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 hunters. They found my base. They're right outside of it. They're not inside of it yet. I don't know if they know the base is there. I'm going in. Oh, he saw me. Go, 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 Hit the lever. Okay, I closed it. He definitely saw it though. Okay, let's grab our potions. Okay, I got all the potions. Now I can become an adult tiger. Ha, huh? cinematic, quick. Boom, I'm an even bigger tiger. I'm an adult. I have 25 hearts. Okay, the hunters are here and they are breaking in. All right, oh, my bad. Oh, I don't fit outside my base anymore. I can't stop them. Let me grab some of the essentials that we have. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they're here, they're here. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh. Okay, they're not in yet. Oh, he was breaking the blocks right next to me. Oh, they're at the base. Uh-oh, this ain't good. Oh, more TNT. Oh, God. This is gonna be hard to get out of. Oh, he's bigger. He's yeah. bigger now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me get some block. Oh my God, they have even more TNT. How much TNT do they have? Okay, I got one bleeding. I'm dead. Nice, he's dead. Oh, where'd the other one go? He's in the base. Hey, 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 I'm breaking his stuff. Oh, dude, I don't fit through one block gaps anymore. I'm going to the nether. See ya. Oh, oh, gosh. oh my goodness. Let's go after him. Let's go after him. Oh, I barely survived that. What did I get? Oh, I got our beds. I got our old beds. Ah, he changed me. Yes, he's done. Oh, he didn't think I was going to come through. I'm not letting you blow up my base and just get away. Okay, well, our base ain't looking too great. I grabbed all the essentials. I think we got to move to a new one now, though, because this one's definitely been compromised. Luckily, we survived the poacher attack. Our one tall entrance luckily gave us the time we needed to upgrade and defeat the poachers. However, the base is toast, meaning it's time to move to a new one. So welcome to the Tiger's Den 2.0. Welcome to the Lion's Den 2.0. Let me show you around the new base. First things first, this is where all my chests are, which is now protected by water, and we keep all our blast furnaces and furnaces right here. As we go this way, we got another portal, a bed, and then deeper down is just a cave. And if we go the other way, we have an enchanting table, and once again, just a cave down that way. And that's the new base. But the coolest part about this new base is how you actually get in. Let me quickly grab a bow. Now, if we go with this entrance right here, you're gonna notice it leads us to a redstone tunnel. We're just gonna follow that redstone tunnel out this way, and we're gonna go out the back here. And if we go out the back, you're gonna see it leads us over to this exit of this cave. It leads us over to this little vine that we can simply just jump out of and we are back outside. But getting in the base is much more difficult. You're gonna notice that there's this skeleton over here sitting next to a target. Now, if I stand all the way over here and stand on this block right here and I shoot that target, you're gonna notice it drops me immediately into this cave where I can then go back into the base. So yeah, I'd say this base is pretty cool. But now that we're an adult tiger, we definitely need some stronger attacks. So I wanna get an attack that's going to disarm anyone I'm fighting. So if I'm fighting a poacher and they have a sword, there's a chance I'm gonna take that sword out of their inventory. Now to unlock this ability, I'm gonna need 64 raw beef, pork chop, chicken, and mutton, which basically means I gotta go kill a bunch of animals. So montage. <laughs> Okay, quick food break. Now let's go back to killing animals. And we're done. And now we can unlock play with your food. But first things first, let's get back to the base and sleep and we'll actually unlock it tomorrow. Okay, day 35, let's unlock this thing. So what we gotta do is click play with your food and now we can disarm anyone we're fighting. How OP is that? But with that complete, there is literally only three more upgrades per category. Meaning next we can either work on pearl eyes, roar, or become a white tiger. But I think we're gonna work on roar because it says it's gonna produce a shock wave that's gonna send out He's flying, and I'm not gonna lie, I wanna do that. So let's go accept the roar quest, and you're gonna notice we need to use a goat horn once, put a disc in a jukebox, and attack monsters with our claws. Let's start by using our claws 100 times because that is gonna be super easy to do. 
Oh my god, look what I just found. If I fall, hopefully I don't attract anything. Okay, no warden spawned. Nice. Now let's just go get some free loot. Nice, we got a music desk and a god apple. Okay, I don't think one spawned. We're good. Oh, warden spawning! We're out of here, bo dudes. We are gone. Ah! I made him mad. Let's get out of here. Okay, we got away from the warden. Now we need to finish getting some kills real quick. And then we're simply going to sleep. This day has been a lot. Okay, we got all the kills done. Now let's just go back to the base, sleep, and we'll be able to do the goat horn and the jukebox tomorrow. First things first, we gotta make a jukebox. So let's go into our chest. Let's grab one of our four diamonds. Let's go into the crafting table and let's surround it in eight wooden planks and then put the diamond in the middle. That's gonna make us a jukebox. Now we'll go and put our jukebox just over here. Now we have two of the brand new discs from the new update. Now I only have to play one, so let's start just by playing five. Well, that's creepy. Okay, we're putting that one down. Let's try this one. Much better. Okay, cool. To finish this up, we just need to go ahead and blow one horn, and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and let's head to a mountain biome so we can find some goats, get them to crack their horns open, and then we're gonna play it. Okay, perfect. We found a goat on top of a mountain nearby. Now he's the only goat I've found, so let's just go ahead and set up a stone wall real quick. And he should attack if I stand completely still. So we're just gonna go into F5 and we're gonna stand still within his range. Oh, he just missed. Dude, you missed the stone wall by an inch. Let's try again, Mr. Goat. Okay, I'm in your range. I'm gonna stay completely still. Come on, I know you wanna ram me. You're really close. No, Bruh. not jump on the wall. <laughs> yes, finally, he broke his horn. There we go, we got a goat horn. This one's specifically the ponder one. Let's go and let's blow it and then we'll be able to finish this upgrade. <laughs> Perfect. And now we've gone ahead and completed that. So now let's go ahead and head home and tomorrow we'll unlock this brand new upgrade. Okay, day 37. Let's start by unlocking the next upgrade, which is called Roar. And now let's go outside and use it because I don't want to accidentally destroy my base like last time. So if I stand in the open here and I use Roar, you're going to see it sends blocks flying everywhere. We send anyone near us, including this creeper, flying away. See, so yeah, I'd say Roar's a really cool ability. Okay, with Roar complete, next we're gonna work on Pearl Eyes, which is basically gonna allow us to double all ores we mine, and we can track ores through the wall using our Tiger Sense. To get it, we're gonna need one Fortune Book, two Eyes of Ender, and three Night Vision Potions. Now, right off the bat, the Eyes of Ender, easy peasy. The Night Vision Potions, kinda easy peasy. But the hard part is that Fortune Book, because that's pure luck to get fortune on a book. Now, there's a few ways I can go about getting a fortune book, and I'll probably do the easiest way, which is turn a bunch of villagers into enchanters and see if I can buy some books from them. Okay, so let's start by killing a bunch of these blazes and grabbing ourselves and grabbing ourselves their blaze rods, because we're gonna need a bunch of these things to make two eyes of ender. <laughs> That should definitely be enough blaze rods. Now let's go ahead and find a bastion and start trading the gold there for some ender pearls. Okay, here's a bastion. Now let's just go find some chests and see how many gold blocks we can go ahead and get. Okay, no gold blocks in this one. Okay, we got a bunch of gold carrots in here and we got some gold blocks. Now let's go get the other chests, which should just be this direction. Okay, there we go. We got a fourth gold block and some more golden carrots. Okay, nice. Two more gold blocks and some more arrows. Okay, let's go find some more gold blocks. Okay, let's get this one. Nice. We have another gold block and we have a silk touch pickaxe. Okay, once I mined up all the gold inside, we currently are sitting at 12 gold blocks. Now we just have to trade there with some piglins and we should be able to get two ender pearls. Okay, we got three trapped in this hole. Let's turn our gold blocks into gold ingots and let's throw them in the hole so they can start trading. Now, hopefully they toss me some ender pearls. Oh, I saw some ender pearls come through. How many did we get? Oh, wait, we have six. That means we've gotten at least two sets. I didn't see the other set. We have all the ender pearls we need, so I guess we can just kind of uh, kill you guys and save the rest of the gold for later. Okay, cool. We got the ender pearls we need. Now let's go home, as we only need some night vision potions and a fortune book to finish up this upgrade. And then we can unlock pearl eyes. And we're home. Now let's make the eyes of ender by simply combining some of these blaze powder with two ender pearls, and that's gonna give us two eyes of ender, which is exactly what we need for the upgrade. And the best thing is, to make a night vision potion, we needed golden carrots, and we were able to find some inside of the bastion so we don't actually have to go make those. So for now, let's go to bed and tomorrow we'll make the night vision potions. Okay, day 40. So we're just gonna go ahead and put three of these potions in here, add our nether wards. Then we're gonna get some blaze powder and that's gonna make awkward potions. Then we just have to add a golden carrot and we'll have ourselves an NV potion. Who? hunter's names. I see their nameplates in the distance. They could just be nearby. I don't think they see the base. They may have seen my name. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh yeah, they see it. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna run. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I don't want them to destroy the base. Are they coming? No, they're staying at the base. They're staying at the base. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. What the? It's like a, it's like a zoo. <laughs> Dude, it looks. Ooh, go this way. Oh, that's how you open it. Shoot this. Oh, it's right oh, here. It's he's right coming here. at you. He's coming at you. He's on you. Oh. Oh, they figured it out. He figured out the entrance. Okay, he's bleeding. Okay, let's get him over here and let's roar them. This will catch them off guard. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Did I really just kill myself? I fall damage. Okay, we got him good there. Let's go over here. Oh, he's running. Oh, oh, oh. 
Tiger to me. I'm trying to launch him off the hill. We want height. Let's eat some chicken. Okay, we can get him here. There we go. That's a fall damage. He just took some massive fall damage. Now let's get him with our ram and we'll be able to kill him. Nice. He's bloody. Send him flying and he's done. Yes. We roared him to death. Okay, they didn't get into the base, but they know where I am and they know how to get in. I mean, I guess they could just break the glass, but they know my secret. Anyway, we have three awkward potions. Let's go and let's add a golden carrot and turn them into night vision potions. And then we'll have the eyes of Ender and the night vision potions complete for pearl eyes and just need a fortune book. And then we'll just need a fortune book. There's all the night vision potions. Let's put them in this chest with our eyes of Ender. Okay, it's day 41 and we're currently in a village and I've made two librarians. Now here's the reason I'm making librarians. You'll see if I trade with one one of them. He currently has an enchanted book called Lava Wax. Now that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break this lectern and then I'm going to put two lecterns down again and we're going to get two librarians again. So let's talk to this guy. He has straddle jump, which isn't what we want. So we can break the lectern he's in and then give it back to him so we can get another job. Okay. After doing this for like ever, I finally got a librarian who's trading me a fortune one book. Now we need 14 total emeralds and we currently only have eight. So let's quickly head to a mountain by him, grab some more and then come back and trade with this librarian. And there we go. All 14 emeralds we need. Now let's go back and do the trade because it looks like it's still daytime. Okay, we're back. Well, let's go ahead. Let's do this trade. So for 14 emeralds and a book, a book, I need a book. And now we can do the trade and get the fortune one book. Now that we got the fortune book, we literally have everything we need to unlock pearl eyes. So let's go home, sleep and unlock it tomorrow. Well, let's go ahead and let's unlock pearl eyes. And now every single ore I mine is doubled. Let's test that out first. Okay, so if I go up to an iron ore like this and I mine it, you're gonna see I actually get two raw iron from each one that I mine. And now to the second part of pearl eyes, which is the actual pearl eyes item. If I left click it, you're gonna notice the name of ores appearing on screen. Let's set it to diamond. Then if I right click it, it's gonna tell me coordinates to the closest this diamond around so we need to go to 1106 and there we go diamonds was it really only one all we got was one but hey at least we know it works okay it is now time to become a white tiger that's the next upgrade on our list white tigers are actually one of my favorite animals in the entire world let me know your favorite animal in the comments down below if you actually watch this far into the video now to become a white tiger i need 128 snow blocks 64 fish and a totem of undying so let's start with the easy stuff the snow blocks and the fish now let's start mining some snow Wait, it really doesn't work that way? Well, good thing I brought along a diamond shovel with me just in case of that. It turns out the blocks, you can't break them with a pickaxe. It just doesn't work. So let's just get a bunch of snowballs. Okay, there we go. That's 128 blocks of snow. Meaning we're... Ow! Meaning we're already done with that. Anyway, now let's just go ahead and get 64 fish. Okay, we officially have all the fish we need killed, meaning all we need left is the totem of undying. For now, let's go back to the base and hit the hay. Okay, so to get a totem of undying, we're gonna obviously need to go to a woodland mansion. And the easiest way to do that is to grab our emeralds, grab two stacks of paper, two stacks of glass panes, and two compasses. And with all that, we should be able to trade for the map that'll lead us there. Now, luckily, we already have most of the stuff we need. We're good to go ahead and trade for this map. Okay, here's our two villagers we trapped earlier. Let's go ahead and let's remove the lecterns. And this time, we're gonna go ahead and give them a cartography table. Okay, perfect. Now, we're just gonna trade this guy. And now we can trade him our glass panes. And now for the compass, he should trade us a woodland explorer map along with our emeralds, which he does. And now we have a woodland explorer map with a dot on it because we have one compass remaining. Now, if we pay attention, we can see that my dot is currently in the bottom left of that map, which means I have to go northeast if I want to get to the woodland mansion. Now, this can take a while, so I'm going to quickly stop back at the base, grab some food, and then we're going to go ahead and start heading to the woodland mansion. After grabbing some food and supplies back at the base, I went searching for a woodland mansion, which I would find two days later over eight thousand blocks away. It says we're close. I don't see it. Oh, is it gonna be right on the other side of this hill? <gasps> the hunters are in it. They may need a totem of undying for one of their upgrades. We literally just need one totem of undying. That's all we need. Oh no, there's one right here. <laughs> nice, we got a totem. I see Ryan's name. He's ab above us. What the heck's he doing here? They definitely know I'm here. They definitely hear me fighting. Oh, okay, we killed one. The other one seems to be running. Now you're bleeding, buddy. And now you're flying backwards. Oh, he's a totem. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Everything else is at home, and we can go ahead and get out of here. Okay, let's go into our chest, and let's grab our snow and fish blocks. And now with the totem of undying, that is everything we need to become a white tiger. And there we go. We're a white tiger. Look how big we look. But the best thing is, I now have 35 hearts, strength 3, speed 3, jump 2, and anytime I eat meat, I automatically get regen. So yeah, being a tiger is now really overpowered. Anyway, with this complete, it's now time to get feline stealth, because it's not too hard. We just need skulk sensors, string, and some 
invisibility potions. Now the skulk sensors are easy because there's a skulk city literally right nearby. And the invis potions are easy. It's just a golden carrot and then I just need a fermented spider eye. Now luckily we already have the spider eye and the sugar taken care of, meaning we just need to go get a brown mushroom. So let's go get a brown mushroom so we can make a fermented spider eye. Okay, let's just cut down this giant mushroom here. There we go. And now you're gonna see we have some mushrooms. Now let's go back to the base and finish the potions up. Okay, let's go to a crafting table, combine the brown mushroom, the sugar, and the spider eye. And now we get a fermented spider eye. Now let's combine these night vision potions with the fermented spider eye. And that's gonna turn these into invisibility potions. So when we finish this up, we'll go to bed. And then tomorrow we'll get the skulk sensors. And there we go. Three potions of invisibility already complete. Meaning now we just need 64 string and three skulk sensors. Between the string I have in this chest, the string in this chest, and the string I have on me, I literally already have the string complete. Invisibility potions and string, done. All we need left is three skulk sensors, which we'll grab tomorrow. Nice, there's one, there's two, and there's three. Nice, we got all three and no warden summon. Now let's go back to the base and do the upgrade. And now we have everything to unlock feline stealth, which is gonna make me turn invisible whenever I'm crouching. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be really overpowered, this ability. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's go to sleep, and tomorrow we can go ahead and work on unlocking the next combat upgrade. It is now time to work on the next combat upgrade, which is marked scent. We need to attack the warden five times, shoot 64 monsters with spectral arrows, and... This is what we think of your dumb old thing. Whoa, the hunters are here. Wait, what? I need to block them off. Okay, I went ahead and blocked off a large part of the base. Now let me see if I can get around to them. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they blew up a bunch of my chest. I don't know how I'm getting out of this base. Oh, I took his pants. So when I disarm them... Oh, he destroyed my bed. Nice, we got his boots. Get okay, back on. Oh, in fact, I didn't realize there was a tunnel you could fall into. <laughs> oh, he died. No way. He fell in my cave. Okay, that's not good, though. Oh, yeah, my base is toast. It's time to go to a new base because this one's toast. <laughs> After losing yet another base, I decided to build a base I truly love. It not only looked really cool, but it was going to be near impossible to destroy. And our base is officially done. It's uh pretty boring from up here. Let me give you some better shots. Now, that's better. That's a good aerial view of my base. But yeah, overall, I think this base is pretty poacher proof but now it's time to start working on some upgrades i've already started the mark sent quest and to unlock it i need to attack the warden five times shoot 64 spectral arrows and get 50 critical hits and i really want this ability too because it lets me see enemies through walls so let's get the scariest one out of the way and let's go attack a warden oh he he smells me we need to get five hits on him let's try and get him here one, two, three, four, five. We're running now. Okay, now we have to shoot 64 entities with spectral arrows. Now I already have 30 spectral arrows, but I do have over a stack of regular arrows. So if I grab some more glowstone dust, I'll be able to turn those into spectral arrows and then we'll be able to complete this part of the quest. Okay, we currently have three stacks of glowstone dust, which I think is gonna be enough. So let's go back through the portal and let's see. There we go. We have a stack and a half of spectral arrows now. Now let's just go shoot stuff. Okay, there we go. We got 64 hits on mobs with spectral arrows. Now tomorrow all we gotta do is get 50 critical hits. Okay, let's go finish up this ability and get 50 crits. And there we go, 50 crits done, which means we can now unlock marked scent. And now I can see enemies through walls. So if we take this zombie right here, for example, and I use the ability, now you can see he starts glowing and I can see him through my shield and even through the wall right here. So yeah, that ability is gonna be pretty good. Now let's just, excuse me, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk. Now let's go home. And with that upgrade completed, there is only three more to go. We have King of the Jungle, which has 50 total hearts. We have an ability called Join the Pack, which makes lions fight for us. And finally, we have the flying tiger technique, which basically lets me become a flying tiger. Almost all of these upgrades require something from the end. So we're gonna have to start going to the end, which means we gotta start collecting eyes of ender so we can actually find the portal. So let's go into the nether and let's first start by grabbing some blaze rods. Okay, there we go. We got eight blaze rods, which is all we're gonna need to get to the end. Now let's go find a bastion and start trading for some ender pearls. Okay, we're currently at a bastion. And this is the fresh one with a nice bridge on it so we can pick up some more gold blocks to trade. There we go. There's a bunch. Let's check the chests. Oh my God, a full netherite ingot. Oh my God, four gold blocks? Dude, no way. Okay, well, I'd say this bastion's kicking butt. Now let's just go trap a few piglins and get some trades on. Okay, I've currently got three piglins trading in there. So this should definitely get me all the ender pearls I need. Okay, so far the piglins have been trading for about 10 minutes and I have 12 ender pearls to show for it. I only want about four more to be fully secure. But once I get those, I'm out of here and we're gonna go home. Okay, with the blaze rods and the ender pearls in hand, then all we gotta do is find the portal. But before we go there, I wanna upgrade my gear just a little bit more by getting some better pants and boots because right now these two just don't cut it. Okay, we can get protection four on the leggings. Nice, we'll definitely take that. And on the boots, we can also get protection four. Oh my God, that's amazing. We are ready to go take on the ender dragon. But first, obviously, we gotta go find the portal. On day 63, I continued looking for the end portal. I just turned around. It's gotta be right here. Okay, if we go down right here, we're gonna be set. 
Oh, we hit stone brick. We're finally here. Let's go. Now we just need to go ahead and find the portal. Oh, we found it. We got the portal. It's right in front of me. Okay, now we just put all the eyes in. And now let's go fight the dragon. Okay, let's take on this dragon. Okay, perfect. We made it to the top of one of the tallest pillars. Now let's shoot a bunch of the end crystals. Nice. All the crystals are gone. Now let's just take out the dragon. Yes! The Ender Dragon's dead! Okay, the egg's right over here. Let's grab all this XP real quick. Are they here? Oh, God, the hunters are literally here. Go ahead, get the egg! I got the egg! Oh! No! He took the egg! They were definitely trying to steal that dragon egg. Let's just worry about getting to the outer end. Are they chasing me? They are. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice, we got through. They just poisoned me, but we're through. We need to get out of here quick. Oh, God, there's a remote island. Let's just throw the Ender Pearl over here, and we're gone. Yes, let's go! After getting to the outer end, I thought I'd escape the poachers. However, they found me and chased me from end city to end city, trying to stop me from getting Elytra. Well, they did slow me down, it wasn't enough to stop me. Because while I didn't find any Elytra, I was able to get all all the shulker shells I needed. Oh, another red city. Let's go. Are they still behind me? Literally still behind me. There is a ship. There's a ship on the backside. We have the shulker shells and the dragon egg. We literally just need this elytra. Oh, he attacked the slimes. Those things are going to mess him up. It, they take your items and start fighting you with them. Look. <laughs> Look at him. He's getting messed up. Okay, perfect. We're at the elytra. Let's go ahead. Let's go in the chest. See what we got. So good. Wait, where'd I get this sword? Oh, I think I took one of the hunter swords earlier and didn't even notice. Okay, let's grab this pickaxe. Got the elytra. Okay, I got the elytra. That's what matters. I took it off him. Okay, we killed one. Oh, finally, he's done. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. He fell. Is he dead? Yes, he fell. <laughs> okay, let's just break through because now we can fly on out of here. Okay, perfect. I put the elytra and the dragon egg in here because we still need some final supplies before we can finish up these last three upgrades. First things first, for the king of the jungle, we're gonna need a nether star and four end crystals. The nether star means I have to kill a wither and the end crystals mean I need gas tears. Then there's join the pack where I not only need to kill a wither, but I also have to become the hero of a village and tame three cats. And then finally flying tiger technique where I just need elytra, shulker shells, and phantom membrane. So I just need the phantom membrane. So from this day forward, I will not sleep. So that way phantoms start spawning and I can start taking their membranes. But while we wait the three days for those to start spawning, let's go to the nether and start killing wither skeletons so we can get wither skeleton heads, which will let us spawn the wither. <laughs> Okay, we finally got all three skulls we need. Now let's go back to the overworld, spawn this wither, and take him out. Okay, now I don't want to spawn this wither too close to my base because he could end up damaging it. So we're going to spawn the wither way over here instead. Okay, let's start by activating this quest so that way we can get the wither kill. And now let's summon the wither. And there we go, our wither's here. And Wither's dead. There we go. Give me your nether star. Thank you. And the nether star to become king of the jungle. Starting tomorrow night, we should be able to start getting some phantom membranes too. Okay, it's day 77. And at this point, I think it's going to be very hard to kill me. Especially if I get these last three upgrades pretty quick. Now, all we need left to be able to fly is 10 phantom membranes. And luckily tonight, phantoms are going to start spawning. So during the day, I'm going to go ahead and go to the nether and start killing gas for gas tears. So that way I can make the end crystals. And then at night, I'm going to come back out and kill a bunch of phantoms. Okay, imperfect. We got the gas tears and the phantoms are here. So let's just murder these dudes real quick. Yes, 10 membranes! And the moon is just starting to set, meaning the sun is just starting to rise. So let's head on home and finish up some upgrades. We officially have all the dragon eggs we need, the nether star, and we have the gas tears, which means we can make the end crystals, meaning we can become the king of the jungle right now. On top of that, we can also unlock flying tiger technique because we have elytra, all the shells, and the phantom membranes. So let's unlock both right now. First things first, let's grab the shulker shells and let's gain the ability to fly. Now, if I leap off my building, you'll notice I have the ability to fly down just like elytra, where I can swoop and everything else. So if we go in here and grab four ender pearls and go in here and grab our blaze powder, we can combine these ender pearls and blaze powder to make eyes of ender. And if we grab this sand and quickly get it smelted, okay, our glass is done now. So let's grab it all out of the furnaces. Now let's go on the crafting table and start crafting. We want to put our glass like this, put our eyes of ender here and our gas tears here, and we get four end crystals. Now we just need to grab some gold from the chest, make a golden helmet, and now we can become the king of the jungle. Goodbye, white tiger. Hello, king of the jungle. I'm a massive buff tiger who is going to destroy you. I mean, look at me sprinting. This is terrifying. If you saw this sprinting at you, you would be terrified. And now that I'm king of the jungle, there is literally only one more ability to unlock, and that is join the pack. Now, we've already killed the one wither we need, so we simply gotta tame three cats, which is easy, and then obtain hero of the village, which is still kind of easy. So let's start by taming three cats. Okay, we're at a village, and I've brought some fish with me, and I should be able to tame these cats by giving them this fish. Boom! Hey, look, we're best friends forever now, me and this kitty. I'll name you Garfield. Okay, Garfield, you can sit there, because I feel like the 
poachers are gonna kill you otherwise. Okay, let's go find some more cats. I want you because you look like my real life cat, Arya. Okay, and just like that, we have three cats tamed. Now let's go become hero of this village. I basically just have to go get a bad omen from a pillager tower. And luckily, I already know where one is because it's right near where I farmed goats earlier. Okay, and here we are at the pillager tower. See, it looks like it's already been raided, but hey, there's a guy with a banner and I think he's the one who's gonna give me bad omen. So hey, will you give me bad omen? <laughs> There we go. See, I killed him. And now I have bad omen, which means if I enter a village, a war is going to start. That's what we're going to do is we're going to go enter a village. Oh my God. Did my cat follow me? Let's go back to the village now and let's start the raid. Okay. Let's enter this village. And I think a raid should start. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Once we stop this raid, we will be the hero and finish up this final upgrade. Oh, I see a bunch. Okay. They're coming in from all sides. Now we want to get the high ground to make sure we see them all. Okay, there we go. We've stopped the first wave of the raid. Nice and easy. Okay, let's fire at them as they try to get closer. Oh, they poisoned me? I didn't know they could poison. Nice, he's dead. Attack the lion. Get the lion. Oh, the hunters. That's why I'm poisoned. Okay, we're gonna have to do this raid while the hunters are attacking us, I guess. Nice, we killed one already. Why does he kill so fast? Okay, cool. We just have to kill the other one and we can finish this pillager raid. Oh, what? Did he trap me? He put me in a hole. Oh, we got him good. He's running. He's running. What a baby. Why is he running? I'm not going to follow you in water. I got an idea. Let's dive in the water. I got a raid to finish up, you big baby. Oh, I see. The last raider's up there. Oh, I see him. Let's go take care of that guy. Yeah, okay. We stopped the next wave of the raid. Oh, yeah, you're bloody. You're done. Let's go. The villagers are setting up fireworks because we have defeated not only the hunters, but we became the hero of the village. And now we have the hero of the village badge, even though I have no idea what that actually does. Well, this is great news because with that, we finished up our final upgrade, which we'll actually unlock tomorrow. Okay, it is time to become a fully upgraded tiger. Our last upgrade, join the pack, is officially ours. And now with the push of a button, I can prove I'm the king of a jungle by summoning a lion and making it work for me. Wow, that is a really tiny lion. I am a massive tiger and I make this lion look puny. But yeah, I'm now fully upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and give up my coordinates to the enemy because uh, I'm so strong. I don't think they stand a chance anyway. Okay. I put my coordinates in chat and now let's see who shows up. Okay, dude, they are, they're here. The hunters are literally here. As long as I hold shift, I'm invisible. They can't see me. So they don't know I'm here. I'm going to actually get down here. I've hit my first roadblock. Oh no. Boom. Oh, I cannot believe we did that to him. Okay. The other one's still coming up this other side. Let's get down there. Let's get close to him. Oh, he didn't see it coming. I was right next to him. Off the cliff. Oh, I just missed him. No. Hey, cat breath. Yes, dead meat. Up here. Oh, he how did he get up on my base? That's TNT. He just blew up my base. Oh my God, everything's gone. No, not the middle. How did he get in? I hear one. You are not getting away. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Ah! Yes. Okay, he's dead. But my base, dude, they destroyed it. All that's left is my enchanting room. Everything else is gone. Not even my enchanting room. My enchanting room's damaged too. They literally just destroyed my entire base. And I really like this base. So, you know, I'm going to go destroy theirs and I'm just going to teach them a lesson. I got to show them what the real power of a tiger is and show them what happens when you mess with the wrong tiger. I spent days 81 to 84 simply looking for the poacher's final base. I was going to make sure I got revenge for them destroying one of the best bases I I've ever built. Okay, I think I finally found their base. That has to be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, wait, is this their base down here too? This is their cave system. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hear someone building right near me. I'm invisible, but he's right next to me. He didn't see me. I popped up right in front of him. He's done. See you later. You're not getting away, son. Oh, God. They had a trap set in their base, and I just apparently fell for it. But I got their gun. No, what have you done? I'm blowing him up. You blew up our front entrance. Oh, he's blowing up the whole front of his base. Thank you for the entrance, my friend. Yeah, you remember when you blew up my base, buddy? Yeah, it doesn't feel too good, does it? Okay, ready? Let's summon a lion. Get him, buddy. I summoned another lion. There's two lions now. Being attacked by lions. Yes, let's go, lion. Let's summon another lion. Get him. Yes, let's go. Okay, where are they spawning? Is their base down the fountain? Their base is down the fountain. Okay, their base is definitely down here. They're shooting me with arrows, but it's not going to be enough. We're in the base. Look at this. We got right into a bed. And he gave me an easy way out. Thank you. And if I kill you, you're going to go back to spawn because I think I just destroyed your bed. Yes, let's go. Okay, he's done. Okay, let's go down in the hole. We can destroy their base here. Okay, we just need to break this bed. Come on. Yes, the bed's broken. Set him off the hill. He's done. See you later. Oh. No beds, no respawns for you, and this is what you get for destroying my base. So here's the thing. They're dead, but they're not out yet. They're respawning back at the start of the game where we spawned originally. And you know what? I'm gonna have some fun with them, because this game is not over yet. Because there is still 14 days left to fight. So let's go to spawn and pick on them a little. Spawn's literally in this direction. There it is. They have no idea. Ready for this? I still got some, some baked potatoes, luckily. Yeah, we can start oh. a new- Oh! 
Oh my gosh. What are you going to do? Oh, you're dead. Yes, you're done. They don't even do any damage to me. They've netherite. What's he doing here? Oh my god, dude, I can just pick on them and spawn all day. This is great. And they're slowly losing their armor, too. All right, we have a little fort now. You can't hurt us in here. No, I can get you out of that. You can't hide in a box. <laughs> you guys are just toast. What don't you understand? We can't beat them. We can't beat them. We surrender. You guys can't quit. It's not even day 100 yet. Yes, we can. No, yeah. no you literally can't. Well, well, we can not play. No, you uh, can't. Wait, what? No, come uh, well, on. Don't leave. Good luck surviving until day 100. They literally quit. I, I guess that means I win, even though it's a little early. So I guess I'll just go play Minecraft survival until day 100. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, here's a shot of my new base that I'll build by day 100. Bye.